Okay, um, basically what I'm going to do is um, do a painting, a very quick one, and uh, just to show um, I've already put some white on here, um, just that, that I'll be using this as my, my sort of a backdrop if you like, and uh, very quickly, because I want to show you that yes, you can do a painting in about 30 minutes. Now actually, <laughs> what an accident that is. But we get a bit more light and there uh, we go over that and it actually leaves a nice glow in the sky but it just shows you how you can actually have accidents like that and they will happen. And uh, clean the brush down here just a little bit more in there. And what I'm going to do is just and we've got a bit of a glow in there, so let's get that glow down here a bit more. And uh, too much of that on there, so you can see how it's working. Just work that in, and while we're at it, might as well just put a bit of crimson in there. There we go. A bit of white on top of that, and blend it in. Too much there, too much crimson, and bring it down, and bring it down also. We'll have some water down here somewhere. Uh, let's not get too carried away with it. There we go. That's a, a sky, put it in here. There we go. Blend it off. Oh, man. Uh oh. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> but anyway, it's okay. It can be fixed. It's, this is, what I'm doing here, you know, just to go across that, what I'm doing here is an ornate painting, if you like. It is not a, it's a landscape. But it's a landscape that's in my head. I have where it will go and what will happen. We'll do that in a few minutes. So basically we need some more white up here. So this is acrylic paint. And as you can see, I'm only using very, very limited colours. In other words, this is a house paint brush that you can get from it's a house painting brush, costs about 20 pesos. So, change brush, let's just get a little bit of magic work in here and what we want to do is get a little blue, a bit of that blue and mix it in there. And what we're trying to do is get a grey and a little bit of that and we end up, that's a ready grey. We don't ready grey, we want a bluey grey, don't we? There we go. And mix it in. A lot of people be going, hmm, wonder what he's doing there. But that's, yeah, that's not a bad. It's near enough a grey. As we can see. There we go. It's a brownie grey as opposed to a greedy one. Maybe a little bit of that in there. Just to so what we're doing is we're using the colours that are on the board and that's basically it. So what I'm gonna do now is just take another ordinary house brush and very simply put it in here, pick it up on that side of the brush and that on there, and uh, well, let's just make a make a few clouds in here. Uh, there we go. And turn the brush in. And basically we can just make sure that be because what it is it's a bit more right in there and there we go. And just as long as it's all going the right way. That's the most important thing. 
and there we go. And then take some of the white, clean the brush, and get some of this white on there. In fact, I might put it on my board here below because it's pretty runny. And there we go. And there's some white in there. And uh, just a bit in there. There we go. There we are. That's good. And uh, remember, a sky is whatever you want to make it. It's, uh, there is no given rules about a sky because it changes every minute, doesn't it? Right. And there we go. We'll uh, sort that out in a minute. Just a bit in there. And if you wonder what that noise is, that's our parrot being a naughty, naughty girl. There we go. And there we are. Now, we take a little bit of the blue in between there. Just a little bit in there just to bring it back a little bit. Uh, and very quickly. There we are. There we go. There we are. There we are. And basically, I think that's about as much as we can do with it. Uh, I want to do with this guy. We take some of this blue again, and uh, we'll go in here, take some of this white, and basically we're going to a little bit too light to use that. Let's get one behind here, and uh, there we go. Leave that white in the middle there and uh, push this one up here a little bit and, uh, and make this one. There we go. And uh, we'll bring it a little bit closer. Well, very simply, we just take a little bit of red. And uh, we'll get this one to come a little bit closer. There we go. And we work it up into it. And there we go. That's our nice streaming. And there's our mountains way in the background. And we can get that one in there too. There. there we are. There we go. Hallelujah. There we are. Very nice. Ooh, we got caught that again. Put that in the wrong place, didn't we? There. Now we can get in our brush again, we just take some of this, this blue and this, actually we'll just take some of the blue and a tiny bit of red and um, we'll just do this and uh, make this into a bit of magic here. Let's get some more of that. A little bit of blue and a little bit of red and uh, take that on there. We'll uh, just Go along here, and we need a bit of blue in there. There we go, and a bit more blue, and so we get it uh, up here. And there we go, and bring it along here like this. And there we go. Might need some more blue in a minute. Basically. We've got a nice line all the way across. And uh, let's get that down working in there, that's it. 
That's fine. There we are. So, now, whoops a daisy. Clean the brush. You'll notice I don't use water to clean the brush, I just use tissues and then um, keep it going. Um, I'm going to put some more white, but I'm going to need quite a bit of it, so I'm going to put it on on, the, on my board here, so I hope you don't mind. Um, I'm putting quite a bit of white on there actually. And uh, I'll take a nice uh, clean brush again. And, uh, Get the clean mine. Wow. There we go. Yeah. Uh, we need to, I suppose, get a, a river in here or some lake or something like that. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's take some white and uh, go across here. I will come down there in a minute. And, uh, and here we go. Very simply, just put in some light and uh, let's get our, our water going. In fact, is, uh, we should have put some. Uh, some blue. There we go. And actually, we can still put a little bit of blue in there and just to actually focus it out and take a bit of white in that. And uh, there we go. Could work out pretty good. So, a little bit of that blue in there again, and uh, get our hills right, and uh, we'll be okay. Oh, we may be. <laughs> and a bit of that red in there, and blue. Get this into some sort of perspective. There we go. And we need some light in there. Just in here, it's in around those hills. To make it look as though it's, it's coming from somewhere. There we are. And also there in the sky, we can, uh, we can uh, do something like that. And some of it up here. There we are. Oh. And so we've got our things in there. Now, I'm going to introduce one more colour, and that will be the yellow. Now, yellow, if I can uh, actually put it up here. There we are. Uh, yellow and 
I'm going to mix it on the board for you. Basically what we're looking for is you can see a line straight here. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to take this particular line and it becomes a mirage. I want to make a, uh, and if I put some blue into that, I should get a bluey green, but I need a very, very light one. A very light mustardy, that kind of a color, mustardy green, not a actual 100% green, as opposed to that's a red gray, this is a, a green gray, and maybe a bit more blue, and that's it, that's about it, yeah. Because what it is, it's, it's when trees are far away, that's what we need. So I need that, and uh, what I need to do is a bit of red and blue. I'm going to put this down here because I'm going to make a dark color for the background. And very simply, the best way of doing that is to, rather than, sorry, uh, rather than mix it, I'm just going to mix a red and a blue and gives me a I need a bit more, it's too ready is that, I need to get a, a grey green and uh, the way to do that is to do it with a blue and a red and um, ah, that's it, there we go, got a nice, um, now I can use all of that, I've got this sign, this grey green thing but I'm picking up are cheating two sides of the brush one is dark and the other one is in now what I want to do is uh, very simply around here I just uh, actually um, show what we can do with one of these particular trees here and uh, it needs a little bit more yellow in it. We're going to change it a bit as we go along here because these trees are getting closer and uh, let's stay with our, our thing and our things here and we'll go this way and, uh, and uh, we'll do that. Now at the same time As we um, get closer, as you can see, I put that there. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to take a brush and I'm just going to before pull this down into the water like this before it dries. It's about 40 degrees. And um, basically, just very gently go over that so it looks like water. Now we'll do that, fix all of that up in a minute. We'll go back again, clean that brush, and here we go. We need this time a bit of a thicker brush, so we're going to pick up some of this uh, and actually some of the yellow. And uh, we'll go in that way. And it's just a matter of tap, tap, tap. And uh, we need some more yellow. There we go. I put it on here so that you can actually, you know what I'm doing? There's not enough on there at the moment and I need it to come down here and I need that, a bit of that 
time that we go. Okay, we always need the dark and use the light. There we are. And we just got to do the same on the other side. And let's work our way up and on our way down. some down into here and it should be right as you would here there we are get our clean brush again and just very simply uh, pull it down into the water pull that down there we go don't be frightened of it, just pull it in. It'll be fine. Very, very, very gently over the top of it. Just make it look like water. And there we are. Pull this down. There we go. And we'll fix all of that later. There we go. And very simply, we're going to make it look like it's on water. Good. Very gently. There we are. So we've got our reflections. If I was going to spend time on them, I'd spend a lot more time on reflections than I would have that. I'm just looking at my 22 minutes and very quickly I'm going to take some of the uh, white on here like this white and a little bit of oh I haven't got any of it left oh no mind I'll uh, I'll take a bit of yellow yeah white and yellow and way back here there we go there we are we just put in something in there to make sure that it looks like Bit of white, bit of yellow, and we've got ourselves a beach over there, a beach there, and a bit of beach there, a bit of beach there. Now, very simply, we're going to take some of the uh, dark that I made, you remember the blue and the red? I'm going to take some of that and just put it below it. So it makes it stand out like that. There we are. And again, a little bit of that comes up there and there, and we're right. Now, there we are. It's beginning to look a bit far back, so we need to. In fact, I'll go back to them trees in a minute when I've done. And um, we're going to take some yellow and actually take some yellow, some pretty colors, and a bit of white, and a little bit of red. Okay, and we're going to put in here a bank along here, just gently. Yeah, we forgot the blue. Let's get some blue in there. Uh, and we don't want to make it too dark, but um, very, just a little bit, just to um, get it back a bit. And uh, there we are. And we 
put a bit of yellow in there and basically it'll come our way. There we are. A little bit of we're getting too fussy. <laughs> That's it. And on this side, very simply we'll take a bit of the dark and we'll go like this and uh, put in, there we go, in fact I want to use a brush on that, get this brush with a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a bit of blue and uh, there we go. Now, get that in there. There we go. Now, clean the brush. Put a bit of a white over the top there. There we are. And a bit of white, a bit of yellow, and a little bit more yellow. There we are. There we go. There we are. What we do with that, we take our little fan brush and what we do is we just basically turn it into grass. There we are. And we leave a few white patches in there because basically well, we need to have a bit of colour in there, don't we? And very quickly we're going to uh, actually um, need a bit of this yellow in there to get the grass up there. So it pushes that, all of that back. So a little bit of that, a little bit of the, and a little bit of blue, and what do you know? We got some really nice colored grass, but I need to pure those little white patches too. And uh, it'll all look good. There we are. Nicely done. There we are. Now, what we need to do there, very simply, we've got to take our nice here and we're going to take some of this dark and that red and that in. We know we've got to get that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Some more yellow is what I need. In the fan brush. I need that. Some more yellow. Oops. Take the top off and I'll get it out, can I? I'm going to be needing a bit of that, so uh, here we go. We'll do that very quickly. And get a yellow and get a white and just pour a little bit way along here uh, so it mixes in and brings the band closer there we go that's good and now we take up our dark we need our dark right underneath and there is a Online. Oh yeah. Now, nice things to do. Just take some nice Flatten out our lake, haven't we? Our river. And there we go. And there we go. Hallelujah. 
Uh, very quickly, I think maybe we can put in one tree. Uh, we'll check because we've got enough paint left to do bits and pieces. So let's take, uh, is this the dark side or what? No, I need it. Okay, we're going to take all this dark side of here and uh, let's go up here. A bit of this green and a greeny red and whatever else is there. That would be nice. And a bit of red. That will do. Okay, so we're going to put in one tree. So why don't we put in one oh, just about here. Yeah, let's go in there. There we go. And we just put it in in one stroke like that. Which is now we we'll fix all of that up. That lid stands up. Good. We need to do a little bit more to it, which means because we've got light coming from that way, we need to just make it stand out there we go and stand out it will there we go so there we are yeah it's fine we take a little bit of this dark and we because the bottom of a tree you know you've always got that dark stuff on you at the bottom of a tree or what have you so there we are and very quickly get up there and make it and there we go and it's all into the grass as well huh. what do we got left to do we've got to get a small tiny brush which is what I prefer and um, a few seconds while I go and slow it up uh, teeny brush oh there we go will that do no there we are it's hiding no there we go there we go, wasting time. Oh. Back we come, and uh, very. What we're going to do here is I'm going to take some of the dark on one side and some of the oh, some of the yellow white on the other side. You can see that what I'm doing is, and I'm going to and um, branch going off there and. Uh, don't be uh, worried about this, just, it's just very simple. And uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. We just need the, the basis of the tree in here. And uh, the rest will, uh, it really doesn't matter uh, what colours you use. Some people use all sorts of colours. And uh, but uh, oh yeah, I think that will do. There we go. Now, very quickly, I'm going to take a uh, a nice uh, one-inch brush again. Hmm. Let me see. I'll take you. Uh, yeah. Well, we haven't got any other, so we'll use the one-inch brush. Well, need to clean it a bit. It's looking a mess. There we go. Take that out of there. And we just use ordinary house paints and brushes. Acrylic paint, it's so easy to use and so easy to do. Now, what I'm going to do is pick up some of that. Um, dark color remember that I have on one side and just uh, with a lot of blue in it um, in fact I need to, to it is there a lot of blue 
and I'm going to pick up the green. So you got blue and green, uh, blue and yellow, and basically um, we're going to put the. There we go. Make it all nice and colourful. And there we go. Bit of blue and the dark and the yellow. And here we go. And you'll see as you put it on, it's of course um, turning green, isn't it? And there's a lot of red in that, uh, by the way. So, um, um, we'll actually, take a bit of that too. So, here we go, last one. And this should branch is closer. One's away, and that one up there. There we go. And we need a bit more yellow because we want our tree to be nice and under uh, the shadow on that side of the tree. And that's about it. Yeah, she's not bad. Actually, we need to bring one forward, which is about there. There we go. Well, why not? And a bit dark. And some people actually like to start with lights and then put dark on it. Well, I don't know, I've, uh, I don't mind. It comes either way to me. Just to make it sure. There we are. Happy go lucky. And I'm going to put a bit of, bit of light over there. Actually, yeah, 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 but take that back a bit and a bit of that. Right, what I'm doing is just playing with different colours here at the moment and I'm going to play down there at the moment. Oh, not white enough, not light enough. There we go. It's just a bit light down there. It's a bit dark, is that? getting as good as we are ah. and a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there and somewhere along there let's have a bit there, a bit of foliage in there there we go and actually you could do it a bit of it in there and just use the brush to bring it up Bring the light in. There you go. There you go. So, don't be frightened of these things, you know. It's all to do with experiment. The only thing is that uh, we need to uh, get that side of the board, this side cleaned up a bit. And, uh, hello there. Hmm. A bit of blue paint. There we go. And uh, we've got light. There we go. Too much blue, but that's fine. We can sort that out later. worried about what's happening down there you'll see it all in a minute and it'll all make sense there we go Touch more. There 
there we go. I'm being fiddly, I should have done this in the beginning, you see. There we go. Now we can just blend that in. There we go. Now, we need to do our It's good. And on flat brush, I'll bring it all down. There we go. There we go. Good. Bring the brush. Bring it in gently. And there we go. That's it. Good. Now we need to just finish one little bit. And wow, I've taken a long time with this. Don't usually normally take this long. But there we go. Just to get our Lake back in perspective again. There we go. There we go. Now, one last thing I can see on there is the uh, little bit of uh, work to be done over there. There's some foliage in there. Just to brighten up our picture. There we are. And we'll leave a few pieces around, little bits of foliage in there. In there. finished. That's it. Now, one bit of Okay, that'll do. And Oop. 
Well, it's finished. All we gotta do is take this off and that off, and we will see what we have. And a little bit of quick painting. And that took 45 minutes. Thank you. Catch you later. My name's Joe. Bye.